Hey everyone, it's Vosk of the Voscoin YouTube channel. I'm here with Tails, and we're going to teach you how to BIOS mod your AMD GPUs with just one click. If you're wondering how to BIOS mod your RX 460, 470, 480, 550, 560, 570, or 580, you come to the right place because this video guy, while it's shown on an RX 588 gigabyte, is applicable to every single card just mentioned with the exact same procedure. First off, I want to say that if you have an AMD mining rig or you're even just mining with a couple AMD GPUs in your computer, you have to BIOS mod it. It is absolutely, by far, so absolutely worthless. You are literally throwing money away if you do not BIOS mod. And with advancements that people have made by the awesome mining community, you can literally, I'm not joking, there's no exaggeration, one click and your card is BIOS modded. If I could BIOS mod my car, so can you. And I'm gonna teach you the very easy, simple, basic way on how to do that right now. So you can see we just have one GPU installed. It's best to go one by one. And our hash rate is 24.5. It went down a mega hash a second roughly once we started uh, capturing the screen on this video. So again, keep in mind, 24.5, remember that number. All right, so step one. Step one with anything cryptocurrency mining relating, you're going to go to the Voscoin YouTube channel and click subscribe, always step one. Step two is I have a link to this uh, ether mining write-up on BIOS mining, great write-up. Read it once, twice, soak up the information. It's got a ton of good info and it's gonna be the baseline for this video today. So a couple of things. You're gonna to wanna to download GPU-Z if you haven't already. GPU-Z is a useful tool. Let me show you exactly what it does. GPU-Z will tell you what kind of memory is in your card. With the one-click BIOS mod tool, you don't necessarily need to know, but it's good to use this tool and just get familiar with kind of what's going on in your cards and how similar they are. If they all have the same memory inside of them, you know, theoretically, you should be able to use the same overclock settings for your whole rig. Next up, there's only a couple of things we're going to need. ATI Win Flash. This is what's going to actually flash your BIOS. The SRB Polaris BIOS Editor, this is the one-click BIOS mod. You're just going to click on this and it's going to give you your BIOS mod. Amazing. Then we have the uh, Pixel Patcher. This is important and I'll show you how to use that in a little bit. And depending if you're going to use a Windows mining rig or Linux, personally I run all my rigs on Linux and I'm more comfortable with that and I get better results, it's easier to manage and so forth. I have a video on SMOS, Simple Miner, which uh, you can check out. That's what I use and like. However, if you want to stick with Windows, you're going to want to download the AMD blockchain drivers and install them. So real simple, click on this and you can download it. I'm also going to have alternative downloads loaded into the description in case these links ever get broken or compromised or whatever. I've already installed all the tools we're going to need today, so we're going to go right over to that. We already have our baseline. I'm going to close Claymore. That's Claymore 10.6. So I made a folder called Tools. I'm keeping all the relevant tools that I need in here. The next step we're going to take is to click on ATI WinFlash. You have to right click it and run as administrator, otherwise it's not going to work properly. What we're going to do first is to back up our original BIOS. This ensures that if anything goes wrong, we're going to be okay. And when it comes to this, you really want to set up a folder, probably just called BIOS. A lot of people do this, I'm not the first to do this, but I absolutely agree with doing this. So I haven't BIOS modded these cards yet, so I'm going to make a new folder. Just call it MSI Blower. I know that these are the MSI reference blowers, and this is where I'm going to save my BIOS. So I'm going to click on this, and then once I'm in the folder, I'm going to create the uh, stock file save. So I'm using the last four numbers on the serial number on the back of the card. You can just look at it, and it should be there. And then I'm going to put the memory type. I use GPU-Z to find out that it's Samsung. And then I'm going to say this the stock BIOS. You also need to put .rom to make sure your computer understands what this file is. We're going to click that, save that, and very quickly, ATI WinFlash will say, hey, we saved the ROM. Perfect. Okay. Next step is where it gets fun, the one click. Just like the two time. Anybody get the reference to two time? I'm not going to spoil it if you know, but if you do know, comment below. Tell me what you know about the two time. Polaris BIOS editor will open. Then you're going to click open BIOS, and you're going to navigate to your uh, stock BIOS. So I went to my BIOS, RX 580, I went to MSI Blower, and here we are. This is the stock BIOS that I want to modify. I'm going to click that. Now it's loaded in here. One click timing patch. It says, hey, we know you got Samsung in there. We're going to apply this great BIOS mod to it. I'm like, sure, I love BIOS modding. It's so easy now because I can't believe that they released this. Now you've created the BIOS mod. You're going to want to save it. So click on this and simply change stock to modded. That's how you know it's BIOS modded. Click save 
and now you can close this out. The next step is we're gonna go back to ATI Wind Flash, but this time we're not going to be backing up our BIOS, we're going to be applying a new BIOS. So we're not gonna click save, we're clicking load image. We're gonna navigate back over to our BIOS, which is down here in this folder. Make sure you click on the modded, you don't wanna reflash it with the same BIOS, because well, you'd just be running in circles. So we do that, and now we're gonna click program. That's where the actual flashing of the BIOS. So right there, we are currently flashing the BIOS. Flashing the BIOS is pretty quick. It's take you somewhere between probably 10 and 30 seconds, depending on your computer and everything else. This is gonna take a little bit longer for me because I'm also capturing at 1080p. Now you can see the vBIOS was programmed successfully. It's gonna ask you to reboot. You're gonna say no. Well, why wouldn't I say yes? Because we still need to run the pixel patcher. So you're gonna click run as administrator because it's just a good habit with all these programs. And this is what you're gonna get. Found, 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 found. You're gonna to wanna to patch the found values. Yes. It's gonna say, hey, we did it. Thanks for all your help, pixel patcher. So now we are set. What do we need to do? Restart the computer. I'll be right back. I'm back. And do you remember that number? 24. 0.5. What does that number at the top say? Basically 29.5 we want to round up. It's going to drop you know, roughly a mega hash a second once I start capturing the screen. But that's a very big improvement for this uh, card with just a one click BIOS mod. And keep in mind we're not even optimizing settings through overclocking and uh, you know, taking it further, which that's, an that's another video which is going to be upcoming so make sure to stick with me for that. But this video today is just all about BIOS modding and this is how easy it is. It's not a daunting task. Don't be scared because uh, luckily people paved the way for people like, you know, uh, if you're watching this video, probably you and me, to easily BIOS mod your card. Keep in mind that if you apply this BIOS mod to say a six card GPU rig, you're basically adding a free card. A free card. You are losing so much money if you have an AMD rig and you do not BIOS mod. That's one of the biggest deterrents with AMD rigs is that basically they take more work. I don't care what anyone says. You plug an NVIDIA card in, it works. You overclock it and it works better. AMD, it's a little more love. But with that love, you can ultimately get a better value. It's been a long time decided that the AMD cards are a better value. However, with mining and the recent car prices and everything else, they've been jacked up. So it kind of goes back and forth. And uh, personally, I'm still team green, still love NVIDIA, but I am going to be bringing more AMD content to the channel. I have an upcoming RX 560 eight card build, a eight card RX 570 four gig, an eight card RX 570 eight gig, and then also a six card RX 580 8 gig, which uh, you probably probably could guess that with this video. And again, I'm just showing this card here today, but do not forget that this works on the RX 460s, 470s, 480s, RX 550s, 560s, 570s, and 580s. Doesn't matter if it's 4 gigs or 8 gigs. This is going to work for you. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you have any tips, tricks when it comes to BIOS modding or advice, drop it in the comment section below. If you've got a great BIOS mod you want to share, drop it in the comments below. Again, the computer I'm using is the Voscoin TriMiner for this. And uh, if you're interested in building one of those, I've got a whole video on that. And I have a full parts list in the description along with download links for all the relevant software that we discussed today. And I want to go on and on in this video because BIOS modding is supposed to be short, sweet, and simple. Well, at least it is now, but it didn't used to be. So with all that said, I wish you guys the best and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be home.